Controversial opinion, but I like Walmart better than Target. Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. So today I'm doing a little dual Walmart shop with me as well as a haul because I made a pretty decently sized haul at Walmart and usually I only get a couple things but I just could not resist for a lot of good clearance finds and some new fall fashion I also got some art supplies because she's entering her artsy girl era so I'm really excited to share with you guys everything I got so first we're gonna do the shop with me and then we're gonna get into the haul so let's do it First thing I found is this really cute new bodycon dress. It has the mock neck and this actually was only $10. I hope there's more colors. This is really nice quality material as well. Um, and I had the other version of this without the mock neck and I loved it. And then I found a bunch of Halloween shirts. Um, honestly, these aren't like my style, but in case you guys are interested, these are $6.98. So they had some fall ones as well. And the material on these, honestly, is not very nice. Like, it's not a soft material. So these, these are just kind of like a throwaway shirt that maybe you would wear to, like, school or something if you're a teacher. I found these adorable furry jackets with hoods. Oh, my gosh. I loved these jackets. They are so cute, so comfortable. This would be, like, a jacket I just would wear all the time. They also had it in brown and it's only $30 so I thought that was a great price they also had this version of a furry jacket with buttons and I love this puffer jacket it also was only $30 very on trend it has like a faux leather kind of look to it then I found these ribbed sets they had a matching long sleeve top and like leggings and it was in this really pretty purple color this was in the sleepwear section but this, I believe, was also no boundaries. Then I found this little matching set with a hoodie and furry shorts. I also found these $10 pullovers. So crazy how low the price is on these. This is also no boundaries. And that matching set was $17. Here's another color in that $10 pullover. It also came in purple. I liked the pink, but they didn't have my size. Then I found this denim shacket from Celebrity Pink. I actually love this brand. It is really affordable, and they have cute stuff. This was $27.50. I just liked the style. And then I love this denim floral jacket with the puff sleeves. There is also a matching skirt that goes with it. I also spotted this shacket. It had fraying on the bottom. And then No Boundaries had these little hoodies with rhinestone designs. This one had a mushroom on it. Personally, I'm more of like a plain kind of girl, but there you go. And then they had these No Boundaries plain oversized hoodies, which I actually love these. It's like my favorite style of hoodie. And these, I believe, were only $17. And they had this really pretty jewel green color. I also found these 90s inspired dresses with the little shirt underneath. Honestly, I think these are so cute and I would definitely wear this. I like that this came back into style and these are only $13. Just like a fun little trend that you can rock this fall. And then I found these jackets which are really cute. They have a hood also that is attached. These are from No Boundaries. This is like an Aztec print. Then they had a classic green plaid print. This one has a black hood. Then I found some new sweatshirts from No Boundaries. These are really oversized and cozy, which I love. These kind of like vintage colored v-neck sweaters. They look a little bit more like have that worn look to them. Those were $17. Then I found some graphic sweaters and these little throwback shirts. Oh my gosh. I Again, I'm like so surprised to see these because I felt like I was back in the 90s. These are like a lace sheer kind of shirt, um, stretchy material with the little lettuce trim. These were only $10. 
And then I found my favorite sports bras from Avia. They have the ruching down the middle. These are actually $14.98, but they were on sale. And I found all the colors that I was looking for. I love the lime green. That one had a little stain I was showing you guys. And I found these Lululemon dupe jackets from Avia. These are new for fall. They are like the tighter, um, more fitted style. And they are so cute. Really nice quality. I love this blue color. And they're only $20. So this is like the perfect fall activewear jacket. I am loving this style. And they also had this pretty purple color as well. Lots of zippers and pockets. Then I found these hoodies from Time and True. Nothing like a hoodie, right, you guys? These are $17.98. And they were nice and soft on the inside. Then I just went over to the jewelry section to take a look and see what they had. However, their jewelry isn't... I love their jewelry, how it looks, but it's not the best quality, um, you know, as to be expected. So... This is a really pretty cross that I found. They had a lot of these like little layered necklaces. I'm trying to get stuff that's more higher quality jewelry that I could have forever because I want to have like nice pieces. Obviously it doesn't have to be like diamonds, but a nicer gold that will last. Then I went over to the kids section because I saw these really cute headbands and these are like basically adult size so you can wear these as well and they had this really fun blue one. These were only $5 by the way and it also came in purple. Some fun clips in the kids section. I went to see if they had any new hats. And I found this one that was new. It says Good Energy Club with the smiley face. And I love the Time and True hats. I have like 15 of them at home. Um, in the shoe section, I found some new sneakers. These are cute with the pink and blue. Then I spotted these pumpkin spice Oreos. And I was like, oh my gosh, I was wondering how these were. I also saw some cool like modern looking candles that I thought were interesting. I also saw these single wicks that looked really good. This one is glazed pumpkin donuts. This is pick of the patch and Ch channel the flannel, which I thought was a funny name. Then I spotted on clearance these oversized throws from Better Homes and Garden. These were only $7, you guys. If you can find them, snag them. They're a perfect gift found this quick dry towel from Better Homes and Garden. Great time to get some summer stuff. And then I was just trying on the puffer vest to see how it fit. And it was so cute. I didn't have a mirror. So I was like, let me just see what it looks like in my camera screen. So yeah, I love this. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed the shopping portion. And now let's move on to what I actually picked up. I did get a bunch of the clearance blankets. I picked up two of these guys. These were the $7 cozy knit throws. And I just cannot have enough blankets. And I feel like the ones that I get, um, after a few years, they start to get really pilly. And that's when you can just like donate them to animal shelters, dog shelters, because they're always in need of blankets. And I like to catch them like this when they're on sale. So this blanket retailed for $20 and, and I got it for seven dollars this was in the actual clearance aisle so it wasn't hidden i was like oh my gosh when i saw this it is so cozy it has that like barefoot dreams material to it and those blankets go for like over a hundred dollars and i actually have a barefoot dreams blanket from nordstrom rack and it's getting really pilly actually and it is like the real barefoot dreams brand so that was a little disappointing but i do use it a lot but anyways all that to say that i'm really excited i found these blankets this will be a great time to stock up on them for the holidays and for Christmas because blankets to me are like the perfect gift and I like stocking up on holiday gifts when I see things go on clearance. So now is the perfect time to start doing that and just kind of tucking it away into anywhere you have storage. So the second one I bought of this I actually have in my car because hashtag New York small apartment problems that is literally a storage unit for me.
I showed this to you guys in the video. I actually picked up another version of this blanket. Now this one was actually $24.44 originally. So this one's a little bit more than the other one. And you can tell this one is a little, little bit softer than that one. I know it sounds crazy. But this one you can definitely feel a little bit more just for five dollars extra there's a little bit of a higher quality difference so this one was on clearance for twelve dollars i don't know why because these are still being sold full price on the website but i was not complaining the brand on these is the better homes and gardens it's the beige six foot long 50 inches wide by 72 inches in length so it's a really big size so I was wanting this blanket literally last year I was gonna buy this blanket and I just didn't end up buying it. So I was so excited when I saw on clearance this is either gonna go in my living room or in the bedroom. So yeah, I'm really excited to have more blankets. We're entering cozy season with fall. So I'm just picturing putting this up when I'm watching a movie or like curling up with it when I'm reading a book and it just makes me happy. So I'll show you guys the art supplies I got. I am just feeling like I lately want to paint and draw and just all the creative things. So I was watching some videos the other night on YouTube of watercolors and I was really interested in it. So I was like, you know what? We're gonna get a couple watercolor items. So I went to Walmart and I got this Royal Langnickel, which you guys know they also make makeup brushes too. So they also do like regular artist brushes like that you paint with. So I got this watercolor set and my grandmother was an artist. Like she would teach people art, she painted. So I feel like that's where I get that like innate feeling of just wanting to be artistic from from her and a lot of my mom's side is very artistic like you get 12 watercolors in here and you can use it like with where you wet the paper or you can use it like where it's dry obviously I literally have no idea what I'm doing I'm just gonna be following along with some tutorials and seeing what I come up with I feel like drawing and painting can be really relaxing and I'm just feeling a little bit inspired so hopefully this will inspire you guys too if you also want to start drawing or painting it's just something fun to do that uh, you can do whenever you can do it in the morning when you wake up um, I want to do things that are just like not with my phone so I feel like something like this can just kind of spark creativity and I just feel like creating art whatever that art may be it could be painting your nails it could be painting nail art anything can be like art like that um, but I am just wanting to kind of I don't know explore this side this year so I also got this watercolor art pad I have not had an art pad since I was a kid so this was just in the Walmart art aisles the brand is Canson I think it was like four dollars these paints I believe were five dollars um, so really not pricey at all and then at Dollar Tree you can actually get a little palette that you could put the paints in like squeeze them into and you can mix them all make your own colors so I'm excited about this. These have pretty good reviews. Obviously I'm not expecting them to be like top notch because they're not like from Michaels or an art store or anything they're from Walmart, but I'm hoping that they're decent. I'm just a beginner. So they have all of them like described in the back, like what you can use them for. There's a round one, flat, filbert for petals, strokes, and leaves. I'm gonna have to save this so I can reference it. There's an angular one. There's a comb, bright detail, a fan brush for grass, fur and foliage and there is a mop brush so yeah maybe I'll even like take a class or something if I can find one around me because I think that would just be so fun this is from one of my favorite brands you guys know I talk about them all the time on my channel because I just adore this brand and I want to thank Guru Nanda for sponsoring this portion of today's video I am such a loyal fan of their products and you guys know I don't recommend things that I don't fully love use and believe in and this is a brand that I love and I am so like honored to work with them because it is a brand that I think is so amazing and their products are so like oh I just love them like I hope you can hear how passionate I am about this brand and the owner uh, Puneet Nanda I am friends with him he is so nice and he's such an amazing brand owner I think I've mentioned this before but he has his own TikTok where he literally will like talk to the audience on his TikTok page and get feedback on products and packaging and be like, what do you guys think about this? How size should I make this product? What ingredients should we put in? What color should this be? Like, I've never seen anyone else do that, like be so involved with their customers. And because he is a smaller, quote unquote, smaller brand, like it's not like Colgate, he can do that. Like he can source the advice from the fans. And it's just so cool to have such an honest, 
owner like that like he's so genuine too and about his ingredients like all the essential oils like in this product are sourced from around the world and he does not use the oil if he doesn't touch the soil that's like his slogan he actually owns the peppermint farm that he uses for the peppermint essential oils and it's in india so all to say that this is the natural pulling oil with coconut and mint and this is a part of an ayurvedic tradition which is like thousands of years old to swoosh coconut oil and mint around in your mouth and basically it helps to get rid of like toxins while it is amazing for teeth whitening for your um, overall like bone health teeth health um it is great also for balancing the rest of your body like it's great for gut health your microbiome and i feel like everyone now especially we're really trying to be conscious about the products we're using the ingredients we're using like educate themselves more so the fact that i have a product like this that is affordable that is great for just your overall health um teeth like for people to go to the dentist and i'm not saying this is a replacement for a dentist because i think everyone should visit the dentist like every six months ideally but it is something amazing that is natural that you can maintain in between your visits alcohol free there's no artificial colors it's fluoride free there's no preservatives and it is not tested on animals so it is cruelty free also keeps your breath really fresh so how i like to use this is that i put it in my mouth and i swish it around for about five minutes and when i tell you that this is so much better than using regular coconut oil um and i don't have to microwave it or anything there's a little cup that it comes with i believe because of the vitamin vitamin D, E, and K2, it may help to support your oral and bone health. So I am on, I think, like my fourth bottle of this. I go through it really quickly because I try and do it every single day. You don't need to do it for a long time. Just kind of put it in your daily routine, just like brushing your teeth, and it just becomes a part of your routine. It takes a little bit to get used to because if you've never tried it before, you're like, what am I doing? But I promise you, you will feel so much better about your breath, your teeth, your gums, everything when you're using this. A couple of fashion finds. I found the cutest puffer vest. Mark came out with these absolutely adorable puffer vests so these kind of like blew up last year and i'm still gonna be rocking mine this fall and winter these are so cute and i think they're really adorable with like leggings and like those little mini uggs and like some high socks oh my gosh and like a little claw clip and i fell in love with this one because it's the prettiest pink some would even say it's a barbie pink and i just love it oh it's so cute and this is a size small i tried it on at the store and it fit really nicely it's not too big and not too tight it's supposed to have like just a comfortable fit to it and another thing that's great is these are so affordable at walmart they're only 12 dollars, which is crazy i've seen these go for like 25 dollars online so i had to pick this up it was the last one and i feel like these are going to sell out quick i hope these are online i will try and link them for you guys because a lot of walmart stuff when it's popular like this it goes so quickly so i fell in love with this sports bra at walmart so i had to grab another color it's from avia and it is so cute i have the blue so i got the pink and this was originally $15 and now it's marked down on clearance to 11 and online it's actually $5. So the only thing that's annoying now is that Walmart is not price adjusting to what is on the app. They used to do it, but at my store now, they're not doing it. And I'm so sad because you used to be able to scan it and then they would price adjust it from 11 to five, but now they're telling you no, that's an online price only. So you have to, if you want it, buy it online and then pick it up in stores. So I was really kind of annoyed about that. The blue one, I did fight to get the price adjustment, but this one he was like, said no. But anyways, just a little update on Walmart uh, pricing and clearance and stuff. So it has the really pretty ruching in the middle, a really nice v-neck, it has pads. It's moisture wicking and has spandex and it is more of like, I would say like a lighter kind of fit. So it's not insanely compressive, but honestly, I prefer something like this because sometimes when something is too compressive, I feel like it like constricts my shoulders and then I start to feel really uncomfortable. So I prefer this type of fit. So this is a medium. I also fit into the small, but they didn't have the small. So I absolutely love it. It is so comfortable. Oh my gosh. So I will link this for you guys. I hope you can find it at your stores. I grabbed another one of these tank tops because these are definitely a favorite. Um, these really cute, it's kind of like a higher neck tank top. These are $2.98, you guys. Unreal. They are a ribbed material. I got a size small from the brand No Boundaries, and I love No Boundaries. 
you can literally have one of these in like every color because they are so cheap these are great for layering they're great for just like a casual day in the summer or you can wear them with a jacket like oh i love them they fit so well and of course i got the pink because it was just calling to me so um great for basics too i have the gray they have black white and they have some fun colors as well like a lime green so highly recommend this 298 you can't beat it the quality is really nice like where else can you get a tank top like that for three dollars like they don't even have stuff that cheap at the thrift store right now next up is another item i bought because i loved it so much i was like i have to get all the colors in my size before they sell out because they're already sold out online so see if you can find this in stores um it's these avia running shorts i got the size small i think these are small yeah so oh my gosh these are the free people dupes they have the really like nice um high waist where it has like the three rows of ruching love these so much i know it's september but it's still gonna be hot here and i love these for going on walks going to the gym like for an arm day these are so comfortable they have a built-in brief which is like fine you know i usually like the ones also that have the bike liner i'm wearing those right now i basically have been living in these because i don't in the summer like I don't want to wear denim shorts um they're easy to go out in like i can wear these to the gym and then i can go to the store uh and they're not like you know a spandex short that maybe you don't want to go to the store in or something i don't know they're just cute like i love them and then of course i got another color because i love the lime green so these are also a small and it has the really cute lime green color blocking and then the ones i already have are like a uh like a pink blue color and they're so cute so had to snag these these were actually originally let's see i think they're 14 no 13.98 i think these were marked down to nine which i was really happy about um because at walmart i just i never like paying full price i always want it to be like the clearance price so absolutely love the last thing I picked up from Walmart is a little candle. This is the Mainstays Ice Caramel Macchiato. I don't know if this was a part of their summer line. I feel like it might be, but it's also kind of like a fall candle to me. So the notes are coffee, caramel, and sweet vanilla. And when I smelled this, I was like, oh, it smells so good. It smells just like an iced coffee it's making me so happy i can't wait to burn this it's a single wick if they had a bigger one i would have got a bigger one but they only had the single wick and of course i said to myself no more candles like seriously i can't buy any more candles after this because even having like five candles right now is like uh, that's too many but this one's smaller so it will burn quicker so that's it you guys i hope you enjoyed my walmart haul thank you guys so much for watching let me know in the comments down below if you saw like a favorite item that you're gonna go check out at your walmart stores and i hope you found this video fun and helpful i love you guys so much and i will see you in my next video bye